Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to review how to submit a change management request in the ServiceNow platform at UC Irvine Health. Just as a quick reminder, change management basically ensures that standardized methods and procedures are utilized uh, for efficient handling of, of changes to systems in order to minimize the impact on any service that we provide. Um, so a change request you know, should be created based upon the need to modify an aspect of a system um, or a change to a system such as you know, code or, or connectivity. Um, so change requests can only be submitted by um, IT technical staff. Um, and the person submitting the change request is uh, really the change request owner and should be representing that change um, for any approvals uh, required. Okay, so let's walk through how to create one real quick. Uh, after you log into ServiceNow, uh, go ahead and go to the application navigator on the left and find change. You can either type in change or just uh, scroll to it on the left here. Uh, go ahead and click create new. When you do that, it will actually open the form for you and put your name in there automatically. Uh, make sure to fill out each of the required fields indicated by the red markers here. And there are multiple tabs. So I'm going to walk you through this real quickly. For the environment, that's essentially the environment of, of the system. So it could be production, it could be uh, a test environment, it could be a development environment. I'm just going to select testing for now. You can actually add in multiple environments here. And the risk level is important as well. So risk level one is going to be the highest impact uh, to a system. Uh, and then you have risk level five, which is really no user uh, impact. It's really just administrative change. Um, the risk level does have an impact on the approval workflow. Um, risk levels one, two, three, and four require uh, not only team lead approval, but they also require a change advisory board or, or the CAB approval. Uh, risk level fives only requires uh, a team lead approval. And um, I'll walk you through that process here in just a moment. Uh, real quick, if you want to get the descriptions of each of the risk levels, go to the help icon here at the top right, click user guide, and then go to change management. And this is going to give you a full overview of everything in regards to change management, including the risk levels here. OK, back to the specific change example, though. Go ahead and select your risk level, break fix. That basically means you've initiated the change due to uh, resolve a, an existing service interruption. So when you do this, um, you don't actually need CAB approval, but it will, the change will be sent to the CAB board to review it after the fact. And if you do select that, make sure you reference the incident number. For example, you can click any uh, the, the one that, that is appropriate. And if you're not sure and you want CAB to review it, just click this box here. Okay. Short description is just you know a brief overview of, of what the system is. So you could be rebooting a server, um, rebooting server X because, and then list your reasons there. State you can leave this as is. An assignment group. Who's going to be performing the work? Is it the data center operations group? Usually you will enter your own group in there unless you have a predefined process with the uh, other support group that handles changes for uh, certain services. And then assigned to two as well. I'm just going to actually fill in the ServiceNow support group in this case and assign it to myself. If there is any vendor involvement, go ahead and add that information in there as well. Schedule. When are you planning to start the change? What is the, the start date and time? And then what is the end date and time? So I'm just going to select that. And let's just say tomorrow, same time. Planning, what, what are the steps? And then back out plan, 
what are the steps to um, back out of the change, to, to reverse it essentially. And then when do you need to engage your back out plan? And then any test plan notes. Have you tested this in the sub-production instance? Um, what were the results, et cetera? And then any additional notes can go here in the work notes field. Once you're ready, you can click one of these options up here on the right, save, submit, request approval. Um, save will allow you to um, not kick off the approval process. So if you're not done making edits to the change before you submit it to your lead for approval, keep it in a, a pending state. Once you're ready to actually kick off the approval workflow, click request approval. And then notice here, down on the Approvers tab, it's going to actually send an approval to the Assignment Group Manager. In this case, it's just myself. If I'm a manager, I'm going to get an email or a push notification to review the change and approve it. Uh, one thing I forgot to mention, actually, is to make sure to include your affected configuration item. This is going to be required, especially um, for any changes that are a high risk level. So you can simply search for the configuration item. In this case, I'm just going to select this one. You can select as many that are applicable. I'm going to save that. And then if I'm the actual manager reviewing this change, I'm going to go into it. This is what my approval is going to look like. And I'm going to go ahead and click approve if I do approve it. Otherwise, I'm going to add comments um, for any type of updates that are needed for supporting info or reject it if it's not required. In this case, I'm just going to approve it. And a change task has been assigned to the group in person to do the actual change to perform the work. Once that change task has been closed, it is actually going to open, uh, excuse me, close the change request. And that's it. If you have any further questions, go ahead and reference uh, the change management in the section in the user guide. Um, and you should be able to answer any questions uh, uh, that you have uh, just by reading this document. Thank you.